Before we get started plastering today, we are going to um, fix a few open areas that need some hardware cloth so that we don't have a problem with birds and animals getting into the coop. So we just need tape measure, scissors, hardware cloth, and staple gun. Should be pretty easy. those back sections done we gotta move over to the sides where the rafters hit this the bags on the side of the coop we need to bring hardware cloth up from the bags to the rafters it's kind of hard to explain but let me just show you so here we have a piece that goes from the rafter and eventually this will be plastered down we'll probably anchor it down too so I need a little section that goes from there to there all the way over see there's a big gap there so we're going to cover that and go all the way down this side do the same thing then we also need to do this side back here behind me and hopefully then we'll be done with hardware cloth Don't get caught up on what it looks like right now because we still have plaster to do. And I know it looks like garbage right now, but it will look much better once we plaster. Just trust me. Are you gonna cut all my hardware cloth for me? Maybe. Please? cloth is done in the coop so that means it's time to start our day plaster plaster cop cop day 121 today we are plastering yep big surprise no copying though because you figured out how to not have to cob. High five. Well, I still have to cob, just not as much as we had planned not on, right? Not the same. Yeah. Well, yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah. So, like you saw earlier, we went ahead and put hardware cloth up there. So now we are ready to go ahead and plaster that hardware cloth onto the bags. We also need to work on finishing up inside the coop, covering all the red bags. Mm -hmm. 
covering the lintel and the straps that are in there. So a lot, still a lot of interior work on the chicken coop, lots of like weird detail work. Yeah. Um, which probably not many people can do because it's a small space. Right. So are the kids going to work on another part of it? Jet and I will be in a coop. Okay. Each side. Yeah. And then Jax and Ada will be wheelbarrowing and working on any spot that they see that's in the shade. Okay. All right. All right. Jax doesn't have about that. Why? I don't know. He said he doesn't like corners. Yeah, corners are a pain. I, I like agree. the corners. I agree, I agree, I agree. I told him you can save the corners for me. Okay. Just do the rest. Okay. And so I'm in a pit. Yep. I'm going to do all the sifting and the mixing and try to keep you guys supplied with the material that you need to finish plaster. All right. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I've been ready. Okay, okay, okay. I had to sift. There's no sifted dirt. It's not my fault. Not my fault either.
Hi. Hi. How's it going? Really good. Yeah. That's all all the straps over there covered up? Yeah. Straps over there covered up. Mm -hmm. These straps are covered up. I gotta pile up a little bit more here. Yep. Going over hardware cloth here. Uh -huh, and then uh -huh. I just gotta get that little section down. <gasps> Sweet. Yeah, and that little spot. Okay, okay, okay. I woke up feeling on top of the world. Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down. This feeling got me flying high as a bird. I may never touch the ground. It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate. Are you feeling better about today? I feel so good about today. We made progress. Yes, it feels good to have something done with the base coat. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the coop is all covered up. The inside, the straps are covered. The bags are covered. Everything has its base coat in the coop. Nice. That's exciting. Yeah. So we will need to start um, changing up our schedule so where we can plaster the other side of the chicken run mm -hmm. in the morning yeah. when the sun's not hitting it. Right. Yeah. We still may need to, even it, even later in the day after that's done, keep misting it, keeping it cool. It. Yeah. 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 So it cures a little slow. I wish that, I know some people have been leaving comments about, you know, like putting a shade sail up or a tarp up or like A lot of something. times people use burlap and they miss that burlap. That right. way it kind of has that evaporative feature. Um, the issue with that is the wind yes. here mm -hmm. um, because we're still in windy season. Uh, every afternoon we get big gusts that come through and unless we're, I mean, I don't even know how we would keep something like that. It secure. would have to be like long enough to go completely over the wall and we could put like big rocks down on it. <laughs> it would be. You know, to where it's like this. Yeah. It, it would be a lot of, you may even have to put augers in. Like it would be a lot to try to secure something like that for yeah. sure. Um, maybe we'd get good headlamps and we start working in the evening. Maybe. Um, I, I think for, for this, we're not that worried about it, but we are taking all of these ideas into account for when we get to the house mm -hmm. um, and thinking about different ways we can rig up something to keep it cool and let it dry properly for sure mm -hmm. yeah but for this eh. <laughs> you know what i was thinking too the other day like when we start our house build something to consider i don't know if i would want to do it just because it's like different things so while we're doing the bags say we get like four levels done on the bag mm -hmm. work, should we go back and do a base coat on them I just feel like we'd, not, we'd run so into many, it and knock it off. And it's also so many different back and forth with different mixes and different tools, and right, you need yeah. different things for it. I, I think that the nice thing about Hyper Adobe Bags, because they are, these are UV treated, is that 
we don't have to. Like I know a lot of people have to go ahead and put a scratch coat of cob on like a super Adobe bag because that bag will break down in the sun right. and it'll just fall apart. And so, but we don't have to do that. We don't have to yeah. worry about that. Oh, I'm not really worried about the bags. I just yeah. wonder for like, so we're not overwhelmed. And so it's like different things that we're doing. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. But I feel like there's so many different finishing things right. that are going to need to have. It's probably yeah. best, best to wait till later. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. So what you're saying is that was a bad idea. No, I'm saying no, I'm, I I'm saying I will I, I will remain open to your idea. We should have this conversation off camera, just you and I. Mm-hmm. We should have. Like, why don't we do that? <laughs> you want to argue about stuff? Like, in front of I don't think we're arguing. Discuss yet. <laughs> The day is still young. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us. That's it, right? Yeah. It's been a good day. Good, good. So we're back at more plaster tomorrow mm -hmm. and the next day and the next day. Is there any other small projects that we needed to work on? I'm trying to think. Um, The outer, we don't have to do this right now, but I am going to do those nice frames on the outside mm. of oh, the... Oh, and you got to do the one on the other side I before do. we do that side. Yeah. So I might as well get it all at the same time. Yes. Definitely. Um, More wood. But, I mean, you kind of just knocked out all the, the hardware sh screen stuff. Hardware cloth? Hardware cloth stuff for the chicken coop. Mm -hmm. Like, I was worried we were going to have to cob up the sides. And hey, you just what? took care of it. I just did it. Which is awesome. Yeah. You so, didn't even have to worry about it. So we're just back to plastic. You weren't even out here. I know. <laughs> like, I did it without you. I know. Okay, we're rambling. Guys, uh, thanks for hanging out with us, even though... Um, shh, don't say them. <laughs> Guys... <laughs> Thanks for hanging this out one. with us. Shh. Guys. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us on this really good, productive day. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. I was going to say it. Dang it. We'll see well, you tomorrow. What? Let me start over. Ready? <laughs> Guys, thanks for hanging out with us on this very productive day. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for hopefully another very productive day. Yes? Fingers crossed. Hello. <laughs>